Hey there guys, I'm here in the Vermintide 2 beta, as I seem to have found a semi-secret parkour course. It uh, runs the entire inside wall of the fortress, the hub area fortress, and I'm still trying to figure out what its purpose is. The course starts right here. Um, there's nothing particularly telling about it, except for the fact there's a few planks that seem to lead up to the wall. And then I started noticing these planks going across, and that got my attention, because it looked like a little platform jumping, and, well, it was very intentionally designed. It just goes along like this, going along the entire outside, and it just seems to end right here, and I'm still trying to figure it out. There is an upper ledge here. You can see the sort of uh, upstairs area with proper railing and flooring, but as far as I can tell, there's no way to actually get up there. Uh, here's another sweeping shot just to demonstrate that, yes, indeed, it, it goes the entire way around the whole fortress. It's quite a complex course, I would say. Okay, now to actually show off the parkour course. This thing took me like 50 tries before I got it completed the first time, and then for this video it took another 20 tries or so. It took a while. The main key to keep in mind of Verbatide 2's jumping and just landing on things is that your feet kind of magnetize to what you land on, so you don't have to worry about skating off the front of objects. In addition, you have a fair bit of, like, air time. You can kind of run off a platform and still jump, so... You just kind of need to make these determined leaps and don't try to correct yourself when you land. Don't worry about sliding forward because if you try to push back to correct yourself, you're more likely going to slide off the back of a platform. It's also important to make sure you always press W before jumping or, you know, A before or just forward on your controller before jumping because you need a little momentum or your jump won't go anywhere. So always put, always move forward before jumping. Now this jump right here is particularly just mean. It, it's very easy to hit the vertical beam and just fall. So yeah, I just edge off as much as possible, do the jump with a little bit of a left lean and hope I land it. And about 20% of the time I actually get it, the other 80 it's a miss. But that's the hardest jump. Once you're past that you can just hop on these and just leap on over the cross beam. And at this point you're pretty close to that constructed upper ledge. It almost seems like you could get onto it. it and I feel like you should be able to, but it's just out of reach. You can see me looking around to demonstrate that. So all you can do is just drop down on this bookshelf, either crouch or walk around this beam. I crouch, but it tends to get you stuck, and then you have to kind of wiggle your way out until you can stand up again. There we go. And then, again, you just, you just make these determined leaps. Don't worry about correcting yourself. You'll land on the platform more often than not. And, uh... At this point, there's really only one more jump you can feasibly make, but this this beam right here, if you don't see it, it's you're going to bonk your head and fall off, so you got to make sure you walk past it before doing this little jump, and there we are. That is pretty much the end of the course. Uh, just down over there is the, just further to the right and down is the start of the course. The only thing I found of interest here really was this bird up here, this little crow or raven. Not much you can do with him. I tried shooting him. I've also tried jumping and pressing E on him as to see if he activates, but nope. The only other logical place you could even consider going forward and jumping is this one cross beam, but it's simply too far away to jump to. I gave it a few shots, even though I didn't seem to go anywhere. And uh, yeah, as you can see, after that is the start. So it's a full loop at that point. There's no point in going forward any further. So, it's just kind of the end of this very deliberate and yet very pointless course. I really don't know. I feel, again, feel like you should be able to get up higher to those upper ledges, but I can't figure out how. I, I considered doubling back a few places, didn't see any way of doing that, but uh, there's only other, one other thing. That altar or pedestal in the middle. I was thinking, what if I jump and fall into it from a great height? And this, I did manage to jump. It was on the edge, but I definitely landed it, and nothing happened. So that doesn't do anything either. Uh, it's quite a mystery, honestly. I don't know. It's just something I can't figure out. Maybe it'll have some point in the full release of the game. Maybe the parkour course just isn't finished. 
I don't know, but it's still pretty suspicious in my opinion. Just to better show off just how deliberate this parkour course is, here's me showing that you can't skip any parts, you can't shortcut. These rubble piles look like you could climb on them and just jump to the points I was jumping to, but while you can kind of climb them, partially, the top of the rubble piles are slippery and you can't actually get up them. So you can't actually, like, shortcut onto a shelf that you shouldn't be able to get onto without doing the full course. It's just simply impossible, as I'm demonstrating here. Now, I really don't know what else to add to this at this point, but you guys, uh, viewers, let me know if you discovered anything in particular with this parkour mystery. See if you if you guys found anything I didn't, uh, feel free to post it in the comments, and I will definitely give it a read. Because I would like to get up onto those upper levels, but alas, perhaps... I have to wait till the full release. If even then, I hope you can eventually get into those upper levels. I hope it's just a beta thing that I can't get up there, but we don't know. We don't know yet. We'll just have to find out. And just as a little bonus to end this off, I figured I'd show something outside the keep. There's actually a few cliff ledges you can see here and there, such as this one down here. Now this one looks like you could jump to it, but there's actually an invisible wall that prevents you from doing so. But that seems to be the only invisible wall in the area. You can actually go along to the left here and walk along this ledge. That's not too exciting, but then you get this ledge here that seems a little too high up to jump onto, but if you try very hard and finagle a little bit left and right, your character can bunny hop right up on top of it. And uh, going around the ledge here, you can actually not see too much. There's a ledge you can't reach, and you can get a nice little exterior view of the fortress, as well as some outer platforms that are kind of suspicious in my opinion. Another probable raven, possible crow, as well as a little hanging cage as well. But yeah, that's it guys. Thanks for watching the video, and uh, let me know if you like this analytical commentary sort of style I did here. I don't do YouTube for a living, but I'd like to experiment and try some new things, do more videos, so... I'll see you guys on the next video, whenever that is.